the respiratory system of a fetal pig uh, by doing a dissection. And the respiratory system is needed to enable the movement of gaseous oxygen from the air outside the animal to cells and tissues within the animal for tissue respiration, as well as transporting carbon dioxide, the waste gas, in the opposite direction to be excreted. So here's uh, the respiratory system from the inhalation through the nostrils down the trachea to split into the bronchi, into each lung, and then into the, the many branches of the bronchioles and right on the surface of, of the lungs surrounded by blood capillaries you've got the very thin single cell thick walls of the alveoli. So oxygen goes into the blood and the capillaries into the red blood cells and travels through the circulatory system arteries to the cells where it's needed and the transfer of oxygen will take place to each of the tissues. And the carbon dioxide as a product of tissue respiration which is no longer needed will travel into the circulatory system and uh, through the veins pass back to the lungs for exhaling. Now, for safety, um, wear goggles, gloves, uh, lab coat and apron, uh, care with uh, sharps, uh, and it's a good idea to keep all of those at one end of your dissection tray when you aren't using them. And the uh, parts of the animal, yes, it ha uh, has been preserved, um, but it's still old tissue. And a bit of respect here for fetal piglets that have come from a dead sow uh, and treat them as you would for respect and for the amount of learning you're getting from them. So you're going to place uh, the fetal pig on the dissection tray, uh, uh, stomach side up, uh, tie the hind legs and put it under the dissecting tray uh, reasonably tightly so you get a splayed uh, pig so you can dissect more easily. You're going to repeat with the forelegs and then you're going to cut a straight line from near the tail to uh, close to the bottom of the throat. And then do the underarm cross and you're cutting the outer layer of skin on the ventral surface. And you're going to peel back the skin and you may need a, a scalpel then to go deeper to cut through uh, the, the muscle walls and pin anything back that you need to uh, uh, and use scissors uh, if necessary as you are um, cutting through. You're going to go forward so you're cutting through the sternum and then when you get to the throat you can do it right angles uh, where the red line is on the diagram here uh, just so you've got better access to view the respiratory system and so view the heart uh, the diaphragm and uh, the, the lungs uh, that you can see and maybe the trachea. So here's a closer diagram of what you're looking at and you are going to very carefully remove the heart. You're going to look more closely at the heart from the point of view of the circulatory system. Uh, so don't destroy it and if you can keep a small section of each of the uh, blood vessels going in, coming out, that helps as well. And so once you remove the heart, uh, you can see more of the lobes of the lung, uh, the trachea. You may see the split of the trachea into the uh, 
bronchi going to the right and left sides. Um, you can look at each of the lobes uh, and indeed the bronchi if you can see them and you can cut a section of the lung and here you're just looking at lung tissue if you did it in the right place you might see bronchioles and then you can look at the head end of the fetal pig and look at the nostrils because that's where the air will go into uh, uh, the fetal pig and into its its lungs once it's born so oxygen goes in with all the other components of the air and will exhale a bit less oxygen but still be remaining oxygen um, and more CO2 along with any of the unused other gases. Uh, so you're going to see a, a, a video of the dissection. They're making a book of what they learned in history? Yeah. No way, like, cut. I don't want to cut my finger. So we're trying to reveal it. Oh no, I'm just like pulling the I'm pulling the muscle now. I'm not pulling the skin off. Mm -hmm. Is that is that like fine? Like we're cutting through. Alright, let me show you how you just got all nice and efficiently. Blade there, and you can do like nice little cuts like that, and then you press down a little bit by a little bit at a time, and you can feel like it's actually cutting. Oh, I hear it. Yeah, that's getting to the ribs. Yep, so just like that. So you had the right idea, but that's gonna like kind yeah. of go damage if you go nice and parallel. It's gonna be cut. Also, Mr. Bones, it's probably easier to do the throat. Which would be easier, right? I'm in the correct location. Uh, Okay. Um, so I just join them. Why do they have, like, all of them have that blue? Oh, the hoops are quite hard. Oh, I think I found a tray. What is this? It's just tissue. Oh, I can see something now. Um, locate two spongy lungs. We found them. See like lots of little lung flaps, and we're gonna go from the sides, and they kind of extend all the way around. That should I go like further down? You're like poking straight. Yeah. Nice. So we might find cool, cool, cool. So if you poke at this one, that's really smooth. So that might be the epiglottis, and underneath, you should be able to feel like the hard cartilage of the trachea. So you're gonna have to do a bit more slicing and dicing. Yep. So our veins are stained blue. Nice. Okay, so just hang on for a second on it. Oh, I see it. So what do you think this beautiful structure is here? Lovely. Hold it up. Okay, so you can cut a bit more of the membranes. This is why you need a team for surgery. <laughs> okay. Oh, I cut it. Yep, that's okay. Just have a little neck. Yep, so now we can look at all of our different points from the diagram. So we have our larynx, look how thick it is, our beautiful trachea with this little nick. And so as you go into the lungs, can we find, and you might have to move the heart around a little bit, can we find where our trachea is going to branch off into our bronchi that are then going to feed into our lungs. So this is a bit of lung right here. This is some lung down here. Yeah, we cut a bit of our trachea, but it's actually really cool. You can see like actually right inside the trachea. Right in there, oh, yeah. which yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, and then if we follow our trachea down, it would have eventually like branched off a little bit into our bronchi and our bronchus. And you can actually see like right here. It's right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that would have been connected to your trachea, and you can see where that is actually now branching in. 
And we can see that we do have a beautiful vein because they're yeah. stained blue and a beautiful artery. So that would be part of like our pulmonary arteries and veins running in there. And then if we look at the lobes of the lung. Those are nice. Yeah, have you squished the lung yet? It's nice and spongy. When we used to dissect cows, you'd actually like get the whole thing going. You could like run water through their lungs and like make them inflate and deflate. We can't do it with this, right? But yeah, no, it's really hard to get cow tissue. Just saying. Yeah, I used to like have a butcher friend who would just give me stuff. It's quite helpful. Okay, beautiful. So now let's just move. I've never actually looked that closely. See how many of the parts of the respiratory system uh, that you can. And pause here so you can look very carefully mm -hmm. at what's there. And here's a solution to that activity. And finally, very many thanks to Miss Copeland and grade 12 uh, IB biology students at Washington International School.